Here's a video giving an overview of making a one-piece razor out of a piece of W2 tool steel. Here's a stock I started out with, a piece of quarter inch by three quarter inch piece of W2. And right here I'm working on the horn of the anvil. I uh, didn't realize it was out of the view of the camera when I did it. So now I got the tang drawn out and I'm shaping the blade portion of it now.
and I'm cutting the blade to the length I want with an angle grinder. And this is just the last few taps to straighten everything out and make sure everything's lined up properly. So here I am, I'm starting the rough grind of the razor. I'm using a 50 grit belt right now. I'm putting a little layout die on the blade and here I am scribing the edge of the blade so the edge of the blade will match the shape of the spine. And now I'm doing a couple thermal cycles to get the grain back in shape. I'm putting it in the oven and quenching it a couple times. Now I'm laying out clay to help with the hammond during the final hardening.
and I put it in the oven and now I'm taking it out of the oven and quenching it. And now I'm starting on the final grind. I'm grinding at a really slow speed here. So now I've got the uh, thickness of the edge where I want it and I'm establishing the initial bevel. And this is a coarse diamond hone. And the first strokes I make I keep the spine up off of the hone till I get the bevel set and then I'll do some regular honing strokes to really establish the bevel Now I'm just working my way up through the grits on the belts now, going finer and finer. And when I start getting up into the really fine grits, I start using water as a coolant. Here I am at the 400 grit belt. And after the belt grinding, I do a little bit of hand sanding. I'm using a wine cork as a sanding block and Windex as a lubricant. And that's the silicon wet and dry sandpaper. And I'm taping the stencil to the blade, getting ready to etch my logo onto the blade.
and now I'm dipping the blade into hot vinegar so the hammond will come out on the blade. And I just dip it in the vinegar, then I do a little bit of sanding with some 2000 grit sandpaper and go through several iterations of that. So that's basically the process I use to make a one-piece razor. Um, thank you for watching. And here's a picture of the finished razor.